Hey guys, Adrienne here from About Murals. I'm on set at City Line hanging a wallpaper mural of the Brooklyn Bridge um, for an episode that they're going to be doing and it is the perfect design to talk about wallpaper seams and why you might see a white vertical line running down the front of your wallpaper, especially if it's a darker pattern. Now, if you have this problem already, you've already hung your wallpaper and you have this issue and you're looking to fix it, I've already made a video on how to fix this. Um, so I'm going to add a link below this video to my blog. Click on there, go to my blog and just scroll down a little bit and you'll find the video on how to fix it. If you're lucky enough to find this video before you hang your wallpaper, um, I'm going to share a couple tips on how to prep your wall and your wallpaper to avoid this um, issue. So you might be wondering like what these vertical lines are, the white vertical lines that run down the front of the wallpaper. And you generally find them on a darker colored wallpaper. So what it is, Basically, with wallpaper, um, wallpaper obviously is white, and then the pattern is printed on the front uh, by the printer, but the printer can't print along the edges of the wallpaper, so it stays white just like the back of the wallpaper. So when you've got a darker colored wallpaper um, and you hang it on the wall, um, these edges can become visible if you don't prep it properly. So you will see a little white line sometimes when you hang that kind of wallpaper. So um, there are two different uh, ways to hang wallpaper and to deal with the seams of the wallpaper and uh, there's a couple tips for each. So the first is um, when you have wallpaper that you butt the edges together and this just means that the, the edges touch each other but they don't overlap. Um, so when you hang this type of wallpaper, what can happen is that as it's on the wall and the water evaporates from the glue, the wallpaper actually shrinks and it can pull away from uh, itself, from each panel, and it'll leave like a little gap where you can see the wall. It exposes the wall behind the wallpaper. So if you have a darker colored wallpaper on a white wall, you can see that white wall sometimes. So one way to combat this issue is to paint the wall uh, before you hang the wallpaper. Now please, if you're dealing with this kind of wallpaper, uh, read each manufacturer's installation instructions because, um, you know, there's different paints that are compatible with different wallpaper. So some manufacturers call for a primer and it could be an oil-based or an alkyd-based primer or it could be a regular latex primer. And some wallpapers find to hang over just regular latex paint, um, but it has to cure for a certain amount of time. So make sure that you know what kind of paint you can hang the wallpaper over first. Um, and if you are dealing with a primer, most stores can tint that primer. So that's one um, way. And also if you're dealing with this kind of wallpaper where the edges butt together um, and they you know, slowly pull away from each other, another tip that you can do is just gently, after you've hung a couple panels, gently slide them back um, together every couple minutes as they're drying and it'll push it over just a fraction but it'll be just enough to get the wallpaper to stick together basically. So the other kind of wallpaper um, or the other way to hang wallpaper and taking into consideration of the seams is actually overlapping. So instead of just butting the seams together, you overlap the seams. And this is um, the kind of wallpaper that I sell on my website, um, but there are other types as well out there that you can get. So if you're looking at different types of wallpaper that overlap, some of those manufacturers recommend that you overlap it by like an inch up to two inches sometimes. So it's a quite a substantial overlap. Um, and then generally what they recommend that you do is take uh, an exacto knife and do a process called double cutting. This is where you cut a vertical line right through the middle of the overlap, you pull it apart, you pull the, the back part of the wallpaper off and then you smooth it back over onto the wall so it gives a nice smooth uh, finish to the wallpaper and the seams are you know, invisible usually. So most professional wallpaper installers um, are very comfortable with this process, but if it's one of your first times hanging with wallpaper, it can be a little bit intimidating. I have seen some um, double cut seams that have been done improperly and it can leave big gouges or gaps there. Um, so uh, painting the wall behind um, before you hang the, the paper, even if it overlaps, that way if you make a mistake when you cut is a huge help. And also um, if you make a mistake with the double cutting, if you attempt it and you make a mistake, um, Watching my other video on teaching you how to hide these white seams after you've hung it could also help if, if you're in that situation. 
with all of the wallpaper murals that I sell on my wallpaper, they only overlap by a quarter inch. So you don't have to double cut at all. I prefer working with wallpaper that's easy for anybody to hang because I, you know, I install for clients if they need me in the Toronto area, Hamilton area. Um, but a lot of my clients are outside of this area and I want to make sure that the wallpaper that I sell is easy for anybody to hang. So you don't have to worry about that process. It takes the fear completely out of that process. So there is one other tip, um, whether you're working with the wallpaper where you butt the seams or you overlap the seams, um, there's one tip that I can give you to prep the wallpaper so that you won't see these white seams after you've hung it. And that's by coloring the seams in with crayons. Um, so um, I do this every time I install a wallpaper mural that I sell from my website. Um, I do this. So I know it works amazingly well on my wallpaper murals. And I have done it with some other wallpaper that I've used personally in my own home um, that I don't sell, but I do know that it works. Uh, it works well. But I definitely recommend testing it out on uh, whatever wallpaper that you're going to be uh, using, just to make sure that it works. So you don't ruin your wallpaper. So let me show you how I do this, and then I'll show you the final mural after. Um, all right. So I'm going to color the edge. You can see here against the black pattern and you can really see the white edge here so I'm just going to gently with the crayon color the edge you can see there and just a little gentle over the dark uh, the light gray color now you're going to notice over time that you get grooves in the crayon. The paper is going to make grooves as you use it. And so basically you want to use a fresh section of the crayon um, as you're going because over time if the paper goes into the groove, you can see and this is the crayon, the crayon would actually color the front of the wallpaper and you don't obviously want to color in the front of the wallpaper. So you want to always use a fresh part of the crayon to do this. Um, and you don't have to worry either about the crayon washing off if you're using water or wallpaper paste to hang the wallpaper. Because it is wax, it's water soluble, so um, the, the crayon will stay on the seams, no problem. It's not gonna wash off and it won't wash onto the front of the pattern. So I'm gonna finish prepping all the wallpaper and I'll show you what it looks like up on the wall when I'm all done. Okay, here's the final wallpaper mural of the Brooklyn Bridge at night. And you can't see any of the seams here. I just wanted to show you. It is so hard to see. We've got to get it at an angle and get a shadow to see. So there's a seam right there. And if I didn't color that in with the crayon, that would be white. It would be really apparent. It would stick right out. Um, so that's a, a great tip to use for a wallpaper mural or any wallpaper. Again, as long as you test it out, it just takes a little bit of extra time, a little bit of attention to detail, but it makes all the difference.